All right, so Lisa, one McDonald's, they show you kind of what you're eating as you order it. And right now, the time to shift gears. We have a great treat for you. Once every few weeks, our good friend Mark Leslie, a nationally known chef, he has his own cookbook, and he joins us to talk about some great recipes that we can do at home. It's always good, fresh, healthy food, Alabama products when we can. And uh, we appreciate you coming on again. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. What I thought today, you know, we've just gotten through Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday, so I thought maybe we'd do something a little lighter, a little healthier. And what I really want to encourage people is actually to shop your produce section yeah. in your grocery store as opposed to walking into the freezer section. So uh, what I'd like to show people is how to use uh, cauliflower, this kind of brain looking thing that usually yeah. people uh, put on dip plates at parties and everybody kind of pushes around because it's kind of raw yeah. and boring. It seems like too, when you look at it, like, there's not much you can really do with it besides just kind of break it off and dip it in some ranch dressing. Yeah, exactly. It, and there's a us. lot you can do with it. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is, I just wanna show people how to cut into it. You're just gonna break out the core and then you have what, you know, flowerettes. You're just gonna pull these off as they scatter all over the place. That's all right. And what you really want to do is kind of break them up into kind of the same size pieces. Okay. You you really because we're going to roast these and you really want them all to roast at the same time. So some of these bigger chunks we're going to cut into smaller Fancy pieces. Fancy little knife you got there. Tell me. Ah, uh, you like that? It's yeah, a ceramic knife. Um, you know, it's one of the new gadgets that everybody has out. It's actually not metal, but it's ceramic. It cuts, and uh, looks like it, it cuts very well. Cuts very well. It holds a, a, a sharp edge really nicely. Huh. And uh, yeah, so I kind of thought it'd be kind of cute to yeah. have something else to show like on TV. That. Yeah. So you're just going to break these apart, and I'm going to kind of rush this since we're always good for time on yeah. TV, right? And then what you're going to do is you'll take the bowl, and we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. This is a healthy oil. A little bit of that. And the recipe for this, of course, is on the website. You're going to add some salt. The homepage right now, WSFA.com. We've got several recipes for Mark Leslie, including the ones that we're doing today. So go to right. our website after we're done, check that out. And uh, I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. Looks yeah. good. Looks a lot a better than dipping it in ranch. Yeah, exactly. A little uh, black pepper first, then we're going to put a little red pepper flake for a little heat. I know Josh is a little wimp when it comes to spicy, but maybe he'll enjoy we'll this. Be able to handle it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to use uh, what the Italians call our sensi del Signore, the tools of God, okay. your hands. And you're going to get here and just mix it up. And then once it's mixed up well, you'll take a foil lined or a parchment lined sheet and you're going to place them on here and you'll kind of spread them out and you're going to roast this. You're going to roast it for about 15 minutes, 425 degrees, turn them again for about another 10 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Okay. And you end up with something. Voila. Yeah, exactly. That's French for hey, y'all. Uh, yeah, hey. Um, so you'll end up with something <laughs> <laughs> like this, which is roasted cauliflower. It's kind of nice and brown. From here, you can use this as a side dish. You can place this with, you know, chicken and fish uh -huh. and um, beef. It's really great. Go ahead and grab one. I was going to say, I can place one of these in my mouth. Yeah, they're a little spicy, but that's all right. And from here, what you can do with this is, the next recipe I want to show you is penne pasta. What you'll do is you'll just saute a little bit of onion with, uh, keep eating there. Mm -hmm. You're going to saute a little onion with extra virgin olive oil, a little chicken stock, and you'll add that chicken stock in. You'll take pasta, throw that in, the cauliflower, stir it up, and you're done. I mean, that's... That's how simple this that's dish good. is. Same roasted cauliflower. Also on the website, you'll find a recipe come on, for. Josh, those, yeah, come on. Good. You'll also find a recipe for a cauliflower soup. Same idea. You roast the cauliflower, and then you'll actually put it with beans and potatoes. It's a gluten-free soup. It's a lactose-free soup. It's vegetarian. You use vegetable stock. So really, if you have diet restrictions, it's a great way to use cauliflower. So let's go ahead and get eat. I'll plate you up some here. I mean, this is good. Just the cauliflower by itself is good. Yeah. I can imagine how my lunch is going to taste. So, <laughs> excellent. And that's healthy? Yes, it's very healthy. Oh, no. Very healthy. You're going to put a little cheese, a little cheese, okay. not don't go cheese crazy, a little extra virgin olive oil on top just to dress it. Okay. We'll drizzle that a little bit. There you go. Jump mm. in. Get you one too, Josh. That mm. cauliflower is tremendous. It is the good. The flavor yeah. is really yeah. Like I said, I'm used to the cauliflower on the dip tray that's just sort of... Yeah, it's so bland. boring and bland, and this is right. a great way to spice it up. And I think, you know, your kids will eat it, too. It's, it's got a little kick to it. It's got a little heat. What do you think? Mm -hmm. How good. is it? Yeah? It's good. It's really... Nice and cheese just kind of melted right on it. Yeah, it's really mm, simple. It's in the time it takes you to Ooh, roast so the cauliflower, good. you can cook the pasta. You can bring the water to a boil. There you go. Okay, now I have a question for you. Yes. You versus Mr. Food. Who wins? Who you like? Me, hands down. I totally hands agree. Yeah, I don't have the hat. I've got to win. 
Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't always finish by saying it was so good. You, we know it's good. Yeah. We taste exactly right. Know. Just I know. Well, that's that what's great because every time we go off camera, everyone comes down to eat all the food, and I we think have that's people what food is. We people that even know to the station to sort of come down. Like, hey. Yeah, that's why I ease in over here before the end mm -hmm. of the segment. It's not that I like being on TV. Exactly. I'm cruise on in yeah. here, get mine. Grab a four. There we go. We're gonna load up about 15 straight commercials. Josh and I are gonna sit down and have some pasta. See you at 12:30. Excellent. Good stuff, Mark. Thank you. Thanks. I wish. The recipes are on the website. That's right. And get everybody to cook. Actually, go and cook at home tonight. And, and simple to do. Simple, simple. Half when an hour, you'll have you dinner. Can people. That's right, exactly right. Mark, thank you for Thanks, appreciate you. We'll see you next it. Time. Yep, thanks. Hey, we're going to check in with our friends from the Montgomery Humane Society coming up in just a bit. The